Good morning, everyone. I just want to uh, do uh, this problem with you to uh, get you give you starting out with uh, chapter two, with in regards to uh, where I'm going to set up a little game here, kind of like a little little game that uh, relates to chapter two and kind of tie some things together uh, with the concepts in chapter two. Even though this problem I'm doing is not going to include everything that's in chapter two, but just you know, hitting as much as possible as I can on it. What I would like for you to do is, uh, if you're following along, I set up a new project. If you can please go to File, New, Project. Gives us a second here. And my project, and I'm, I'm doing this in Visual Studio 2013. <clears throat> So when you're in this, make sure you have your five checkpoint for me, please. Just want to reiterate, checkpoint number one is Win32 underneath Visual C++ on the left-hand side here. Number two is Win32 console application. Third point is your project name. I'm going to call this thing just a little, uh, just a little desktop exercise. I'm gonna, uh, my first name. I'm going I'm to call this thing Lost Fortune the name of the game with it. I think I'm going to have you create something on your desktop or what I would put in is, is in my little sandbox that I'm going to create. Um, I'm not picking this up so I like for you to practice this. I, I, might, I always have a little sandbox that I would play in. So I have a desktop with a folder called sandbox on my desktop. So in here I'm going to create a new folder uh, Call it anything you want. I'll, I'll call this thing Lost Fortune. And I'm going to select that folder. Okay, so, uh, and the last step is, the fifth step is disable or do not check your create directory for solution with this thing. So, just again, five checkpoints. Win32 is the first one underneath Visual C. Step two, Win32 console application. Step three, make sure you have a name. I call it Lost Fortune, one word, uh, uppercase L, uppercase F. And the, the fourth one is the location. I'm going to put this thing in by clicking on your browse button. The fifth step is create directory for solution. So five steps here. That's what you need to have. Click OK. <clears throat> the last step you need to do for all this project is click on application settings. Make sure you enable, meaning check your empty project for me, keeping it as everything else the same, just check your empty project for me and you click on finish. So as this project is setting up with it, here's what I would like for you to do. Um, this is for me, what I would like for you to do in all of your lab uh, that you turn in with me. Uh, if you could for me, please come in and um, of course, you know how to add. Um, let me come down here, come add. Right mouse click on your Lost Fortune, the name of your project. This is called Lost Fortune. You see how I did that? Right mouse click. Come down to add new item. All right. So add new item for me, please. So you're going to add a new item. I'm going to leave this up here. Make sure you, you take a look at this thing. New item. And here is the CPP file. Uh, making sure you add in is the click on you have to click on the CPP or else it's going to add a header file in the name of this file please call it main one word all lowercase for me main and click on add and immediately you will see underneath the source folder is the main I like for you inside of this thing if you could for me uh, make sure you have word wrap on or change your font size three things that I do uh, if I was doing this is uh, underneath environment category I would click on the fonts I, I, I've set it to 20 because for you to see uh, and the other thing is if you can please expand the text editor by clicking on the white and turn it to a, a expands it click on the C C++ make sure you check the word wrap and make sure you check the line number so three things the font size it's up to you if you want to keep it the font that you could read it but I suggest that you know keep it as console was uh, with it and the other one is the word wrap and the third one is the line number okay so if you do those three 
and all beginning of all your code, you put your name goes here. The second one, second line, need for you to put your course and section. Again, uh, I'm not picking this up for, for a grade, but this is on every line that you have, and this is the lost, a little description of this game, lost fortune uh, game. Anyway, and this is basically, this will cover chapter two. Okay, this is not in your book, so um, if you can follow along with what I'm doing right here. What I'd like for you to do is, the first thing I'd like for you to do is to do uh, the skeleton. So if you could just do pound, include, and I'm going to, as we get into more of the code, uh, more in the course, I'll, I'll explain in detail what this means. As you can see, my IntelliSense kicks in. What this file allows you, this is what's called the preprocessor. The preprocessor allows you to load in things that are built in the library file of the processor. You buy a car, it comes with air conditioning, and it comes with an AM, FM radio, CD player, etc., etc. A compiler has certain built in library files. All right? IO stream stands for what? Input, output. Stream means to feed the data in, feed the data out. So this is your preprocessor, right? The second one is I like to use is using namespace. STD. If you uh, what that's what my IntelliSense kicks in. STD. Semicolon. And this is your basic skeleton. Your first function that every function in this code will have is called the int main. So I'm going to start with the curly brackets and I'm going to do return zero. Okay, and we'll talk about what functions are, but but just for now, this is your basic skeleton. I uh, had you do something like this in the hello world. Remember that when you said see out hello world, uh, extractor, extractor, and your 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 statement with it. Well, in this game, what I would like for you to do, because since I kind of gave you a little game uh, with it, and I should, uh, what, what I would do is I'm going to actually post this up here, but you would see the, uh, the, the let me check the timing on this thing. 